we're going to translate this triangle by this vector here, vector AB, using a compass and a straight edge. <coughs> so remember that the big concept behind a translation is that every point of our pre-image is going to move uh, the exact same distance in the exact same direction, and we get that distance and direction from this vector of translation. And so how we do that is the um, direction we get from essentially creating parallel lines through each of these points in a couple of different methods, uh, using the compass in this method and uh, various other methods for parallel lines. Uh, and then for the distance, all we have to do is copy the distance of this vector uh, from each of the points down those parallel lines. And so using our compass, uh, what's kind of going on under the hood here is we'll be creating parallelograms where uh, this vector is one side of that parallelogram in a way. And so the opposite sides can be made up of the pre-image and image points. And so opposite sides of a parallelogram are parallel and they're equal in length. And so that's going to give us our translation. Um, and so we'll draw in one of those parallelograms uh, when we translate one of our points so we can see what it looks like. Okay, so to begin with, uh, we are going to copy the distance, uh, essentially kind of the angle here between the beginning of the vector and our pre-image point. Okay. So that distance there, and I'm going to copy that to the end of the vector. Okay, so essentially creating uh, the beginning of where the third point, or sorry, the fourth point of this parallelogram is going to be, right? It's because we already have three of those points. All we have to find is this fourth point over here that's going to create our parallel line. So I just drew about uh, you know a quarter of a circle or so there, uh, using that radius that I got from the beginning of the vector uh, back to the pre-image point. So that gives us our direction, and then finally to get the distance. Uh, now I'm going to set my compass to the distance of the vector. Okay, so from A to B, just being careful to get that correct. And now I'm going to copy that distance on how far P has to travel to find where P prime is. And the intersection of those two points is going to give us our translated point. So I can get this compass in there. Okay, there we go. So that is our point P prime. Okay, and if we connect some of the points here lightly, uh, you're going to be able to see where that parallelogram shows up, and that's how we have done our translation here. All right, so a little darker than that. Okay, so they connect P to P prime, and then the end of the vector to P prime, and the beginning of the vector to P. You can see there is our parallelogram, okay, where the vector here, AB, is going to be parallel to the segment from P to P prime, and the segment here from A to P is parallel to the segment from B to P prime, okay? And so essentially we're constructing these uh, parallelograms for every single pre-image point. All right, we're just not going to draw in the, these lines again for the other ones because all we care about is this, this little corner point here. Okay, so again, take your compass to do the next point, and we're going to set uh, the first distance from the beginning of the vector to the pre-image point. Okay, oops. And then we're going to copy that distance from the end of the vector. And kind of trying to estimate you know, where that point's going to be. It's pretty high above the, the vector there, I suppose, somewhere back there. And then getting the distance along the vector from A to B. Okay, we copy the distance there. And then we're going to copy that distance to distance from Q down to where we intersect that arc. All right, and that's going to give us our Q prime. I drew far too much of a circle here. There we go. Okay, and then one more point. That's Q prime. Uh, one more point. So again, metal point at the beginning of the vector. 
Um, actually, that doesn't matter because we're just getting the, the distance here. So measure the distance from the beginning of the vector out to our pre-image point, and then copy that distance from the end of the vector to kind of where we think that point's going to end up. Somewhere over here. Okay, and then I'm going to copy now the distance along the vector from A oops, to B. And then copy that distance from point R. And just like that circle there. And there we have it. There is our prime. And again, I drew way too much of that circle. All right, now let's connect all of our final image points together. And that, except you're going to do a better job than I just did there. Again, take an extra few seconds, line it up. And there we have our triangle translated, oops, using just a compass and a straight edge.